Okay, right now we're going to use a tripod to use, uh, we're going to use the tripod to lift a heavy stone. Um, we're going to be using a, a lifting strap that's made with static webbing. I just learned that's what the, the term is for the webbing on these. Um, it won't damage the stone, it's soft, um, but stones like this can be very dangerous to handle any other way. Um, than with a lifting strap and a chain hoist that lifts it very slowly. Okay, so we have a tripod set up here. Um, this is really just for, we're not going to be raising the stone, we're not going to be resetting it. Um, this is really just to show how some a setup like this looks. And we are missing one safety feature on this setup. And what it is, typically these tripods come with attachment points at the base of each post. And what you do is you actually run a line to each one around that tripod so that while you're lifting, these don't have an opportunity to kick out, okay? Which means you're either dropping a stone or if someone's near one of these and you're lifting a thousand pound stone, that could kick out pretty hard and, and, and hurt someone. So if you do go to the investment of purchasing a tripod setup, and you have a lot of large monuments that need to be lifted and reset. If you're going to make the investment, get one that has the safety features on it. Another way around using a tripod like this uh, is if a lot of you are in farming communities, and I know a lot of you are, uh, small towns, you have access to equipment. You know, Let's have a big weekend of someone bringing their tractor up with their forks and let's put some straps on it and let's get to work. I mean, you're gonna get a lot more done with a piece of equipment like that in a day than you will with something like this, okay? All right, does anyone know how to operate a chain hoist? Anyone ever use them? Come on over. Okay, so hopefully this is long enough. We picked a kind of a big stone here. So what we do is a simple, it's called like a saddle. Um, with these straps. These are lifting straps. They were made for lifting. It's not a toe strap. Uh, does anyone know the difference between a toe strap and a lifting strap? No. Toe strap stretch. Toe strap stretch, exactly. Yeah, they're designed to stretch so that they won't snap and fly through the back windshield of the pickup truck that's pulling you out. So they give a little bit. Plus that stretch will actually rebound a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a lot more um, ability. Out yeah, bounces you out of the hole. I've seen pickup trucks pulling semis with a load behind them out of a ditch. So anyway, that's a tow strap or a tow rope. This is not, okay. Sorry about the going squirrel on you there. Yep, we don't have a lot of room here for this. So being that this is the carved side, this is not. I'm gonna show you since everyone's on that side, but you just simply bring it around your stone. <clears throat> and and up okay this is a little short what i would do is i would put this on the back side and i would probably put a little bit of something behind it to protect the chain itself so then there we go so do you see how much this is moving trying to keep it out of the stone <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we're there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and snug it up. So everyone can see, I'm keeping it off the stone, it's going pretty good. Let's see if it'll swing just a little. Okay, there you go. So you'll actually see these poles flex. I don't know if anyone was seeing that, but this pole started bowing in like that as you're applying pressure. Um, but there you go. So in this situation, we're kind of on a hill like this. This will hold that. If we lift it up, it'll hold it. And then you could have a couple people just standing to the side of it. You have one person operating the chain hoist, a couple people just guiding it to the side while it's being lowered onto a tarp in this area to the ground. It's really that simple. Reverse, repeat. You know, it's that, it's, that's all it is. It's really that simple. And it, and it sounds weird, but, but as it's starting to tighten up, they'll slip a little but they'll eventually grab, and then you, you just need to kind of stop, and then you're going to shift it off to the side and then put more weight. You're going to carry the bottom out to the side and put more weight up on the top, 
and then you can swing it over and off. A three person project right here. It's two people handling stone, one person operating the chain hoist, okay? And if you have a table, if it's a single stone, you know, that was, say it's just a single stone buried in the ground, it's a pretty big one, okay? You excavate all around it, always excavate all around it. Do not try to remove a stone out of the ground thinking you're just gonna use the power of this instead of having to dig, okay? You're, there's a lot of pressure against that thing and you'll, you'll damage it you'll da or break your hoist. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a lot of weight tugging against it. So always excavate it. And if you have a single stone like that, you could bring it up and have a table right next to it and just set it right on it, clean it if you wanted to while someone else is preparing the site and then you can bring it and put it right back in, in place. These are real common um, with um, preservation people with uh, NCPTT, which is the National Center of Preservation Technology and Training. They're the ones that kind of really help investigate best practices for these types of things. And they're always in the field with these tripods. And now that it's lifted, um, what we would do is we would place it off to the side, pick up the next stone, set it off to the side, level the base, replace those um, into place in a level condition, and then we would be finished. It's as simple as that.